Justin Verlander's first career foray into free agency did not last long. Verlander is returning to the Houston Astros after declining the one-year, $18. 4 million qualifying offer prior to Wednesday's deadline. His younger brother, Ben, broke the news on Twitter. Verlander received a one-year contract worth $25 million with a player option for 2023. Because he rejected the qualifying offer this offseason, Verlander will not be eligible to receive it next offseason or any other point in his career moving forward. The Astros know Verlander's medicals better than anyone and obviously they felt comfortable resigning him. In 2019, his last full and health season, Verlander won the Al Cy Young and pitched to a 2. ATRA in a league leading 223 innings with elite strikeout, 12. 1K-9, and walk, 1. 7 BB-9, numbers. Verlander is a future Hall of Famer and could return to that level right away in 2022, though Tommy John surgery comes with risk, especially at age 39. With Verlander back in the fold, the Astros are expected to go into next season with Verlander, Luis Garcia, Lance McCullers Jr., Jose Urquidy, and Framber Valdez in their rotation in some order. Youngster Christian Javier could slot in as the number 6 starter or potentially move into a high leverage bullpen role full time. Our RJ Anderson ranked Verlander the no. 17 free agent on the market. Although he declined the qualifying offer, the Astros will neither receive nor forfeit draft picks as compensation for resigning Verlander, 